Well, that doesn't look good. So the Gator, this is what the Gator looks like without the bed on it. I do plan on doing something differently with the bed because this, I, I really like this look, how it's kind of lower, not as tall. It's more sleek and more aerodynamic. I'm just kidding, I don't care about aerodynamics at all because we have this amazing thing. If you guys are new, this is a 580cc snowmobile engine. What originally comes with this thing is a nine horsepower. This thing puts out like 90 plus horse, I believe. Plus it's bored out to a 600, it's not really a 580. Yes, on the last 3D Machines production, we did get that installed. It's completely welded up. Now we have to start working around this thing. Now I think I have to change the gas tank. The reason being is, yes, it has a fuel pump. And since this is fuel injected, we will need a fuel pump, but I believe we need a return and this doesn't have a return. So I think this thing's gotta go. Busted belly empty. Battery box is out, time to remove the fuel pump. And yes, it is ghetto fabulous. We have electrical tape and this piece of white steel that looks like a bathroom tile. And I didn't even install that fuel pump. I'll tell you what I do like though, I have a filter here. You see that filter? And I actually have a second filter before the fuel pump, so this, this gasoline was getting filtered. I'm about to do one of the sketchiest things on this entire project, and that is to cut the gas tank out of the Gator. Now the problem is, is I think when they manufactured this, they put the, the tank in, like way in the beginning of the process and it's just impossible to get out of it right now. Unfortunately, I have like a three quarters full gas tank, which means there's air in the tank, which means if there's an open flame, I think things can happen. I don't really want things to happen. But don't they make amazing clickbait. Yep, that's right, but I want my face. Luckily my face isn't in the way. Yes, the gas tank is out. And I took the old gas tank out of the snowmobile here and I actually cut it. This whole new gas tank thing has been extremely sketchy. We've been having to grind stuff around the old gas tank. I had to cut the new gas tank. Just super sketchy stuff. I also did remove this caliper off of this rotor. Then we have this super classy, sophisticated zip line sitting right there to hold this brake line out of the way. We're gonna put the gas tank right in here. It's gonna be way bigger, but I think we can make it happen if we just cut this guy right off. So you know the plan, we're gonna cut this thing right off. This is a piece that came up for the gas tank. You know how I originally had to cut a couple pieces of the metal out of the gator itself to get the gas tank out, the original gas tank. Well, and I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna have it so that I have to cut stuff when I build it. So what I did was I developed this thing, which is just a piece of steel that I stole from the gator. And John Deere was nice enough to go through the troubles of welding this thing already for me. So now what happens is you put the gas tank in, bolt it, I'll show you. got it 
to dig into my mind and the laws of this whole, this thing. Basically, what's got to happen with an engine is you need air, fuel, um, a bunch of other things, compression, all that. The engine runs. We have the fuel to go to it. We need the air filters still. Those are on order, so those will be in. We also need something else, so this is a two joker, and usually when you have a dirt bike or like a weed whacker or something like that, you mix up gas and then pour that gas into the, the gas tank. Where on a snowmobile, it's a little bit different. You put the gas in and then you put oil in a different reservoir and then the, the oil mixes itself. Now, if we don't have room for this reservoir because we're running out of space, we only have this little bit and then we still have to put a battery in this thing, battery might go back there, the reservoir might go back there, and vice versa, they could go in maybe either one of these spots. However, if there's no spots for the reservoir, then we're just gonna have to pre-mix it like a weed whacker or a dirt bike. I got a box full of goodies in our old spring here. It's kind of funny that even our old spring is green and yellow. Our new spring is of course yellow. The previous owner said that the primary clutch was going bad. Uh, I, it was kind of bound up a little bit when I was taking it off there. But other than that, once I took the belt off of the, the primary clutch, it moved on the shaft nice and nice and smooth. But this, this spring is a little bit more strong. And I also got some new weights as well. So basically we're gonna have a new primary clutch. say that the primary clutch is upgraded now we got something we got something new here Ooh. we have new air filters and they're green and they look amazing oh yeah I have to say I've never been this happy about air filters in my life those look amazing and they were super easy to install our next thing we have to do isn't so easy this kind of stuff really turns Jason on. Jason, I wish you were here to help me with this, but I gotta make this thing happen. We have a schedule to keep. Okay, making great progress over here. This thing right here, this thing and this thing, I bought these in an auction probably four or five years ago with Seth and Ian, and they are finally coming in clutch because I haven't brought my other stuff over here yet. I think this is all stainless steel. And it literally has everything. wasn't there, but I, I found it. Today has definitely been one of those days where things are just, just falling together and everything's working very, very smoothly. I love those days. I know you guys love those days. Coolant Reservoir installed. Uh, 
coolant reservoir installed. What else do we install? The two stroke oil reservoir, the coil, miscellaneous things that I don't know the name of. And luckily I found this wire on the snowmobile. Otherwise, I don't even think we would have started this thing today. So I'm gonna strip this back, get some ends on it, hook it up, and I think we're like one or two steps away from firing this thing up for the first time. In the gator at least. You son of a nutcracker, what's going on here? Now I've gone ahead and I've actually put uh, oil in the gas tank so that if this system has to prime because the, the oil goes into the engine individually, um, if, it, if it doesn't get to the engine in time, well, what will happen is it won't lube up the cylinders like it should. So I put oil in the gas tank so that any gas that is burned, uh, that's why I'm moving it back and forth and mixing it, um, any gas that's burnt is lubricating the cylinders. Our exhaust is installed, our spark plugs are installed, our fuel injectors are installed. All we have to do, I believe, is to put our air filters on. I really don't want to, but I have to put coolant in this thing, even though I have to eventually put a radiator on it. So basically, we're just gonna flush the system here. And then that, I don't wanna put oil in that because I have a feeling that for some reason, stuff is gonna leak. I dislike it when things leak. I always find comfort wearing these things on any first start, so we're wearing them. Okay, so... Bro. Oh, I'm sorry I missed the shot, but I pulled on this thing a few times and then the uh, fuel pump regurgitated a whole bunch of gasoline on my brand new battery, which is one wonderful. Hey, could you guys give me a hand? I don't know where this thing goes. Oh, wait, it goes right, huh. This thing, this thing is gonna be nuts.